Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today we will see a one more uh, session on generative AI that is how this generative AI works. So in our previous uh, videos we have seen the complete introduction about uh, generative AI and the difference of generative AI over uh, traditional AI and also we have seen some tools which will be generating the image, text, video, code and audio. So now we will see how this generative AI works. So first thing we have discussed it like uh, generative AI not only analyze or predict the data but it will be creating the new content. So how this happens that is our session. So let us start our session without any delay. So how gen AI works. So how the new content is being created. So this involves uh, five steps or five phases we can say. The first one, training on data, training on data. So in a traditional AI, we are saying that the training will be done so from the data sets. So a, a massive data sets will be taken and the AI model will be trained on that particular data set. So, trained on massive data sets very very large data sets okay so what is this training means mainly three kinds of trainings one is a supervised supervised training unsupervised training unsupervised training so mainly two things okay and here uh, the data set is are related to text image some audio or a video anything so text means so books or articles a lot of books or articles will be given okay and coming to the images so image collection a lot of image collection will be there so with the help of that image collection the training will be done similarly the audio also okay so the first step training on this massive data so what happens after trained with this one so in this training it learns this AI model learns the patterns so what are the patterns styles and relationships and relationships okay so from this data set so it will be learning what are the patterns, what are the styles and what are the relationships. Okay. So this happens in the training on data. So after training, what happens? The next, the next phase is build a model. So after this one, the next one is a build a model. So here it mainly uses the artificial neurons. Okay. The brain behind the AI is in neurons. So, here the brain behind AI is neural networks. Okay, neural networks. So, what happens means whatever the data collected from this first thing, so the data will be given to layers of artificial neurons artificial neurons so in this particular general mainly it will be using the transformer model a transformer model so which will take the data and it will be processed so the data will be given to layers of artificial neuron and it will be processed it will be processed so what is the outcome of this one so after uh, giving this data to the artificial neurons and what is the outcome so it will be predicting it will predict what comes next 
it will predict what come next so pattern matching will be done okay here it will be learning the pattern styles and relationships coming to the second phase from this particular data from the first phase it will learn how to predict okay so instead of uh, writing all these things we can say it will learn how to predict how to predict okay so after building a model after building a model the next third phase the third phase is generating the output the third one is generating output okay so here we are giving input text as i mean prompt as a input right so giving prompt so that can be uh, either it uh, maybe in the text form or image form but let us imagine the prompt is in a text form giving prompt as a input okay so then immediately what happens the prompt will be divided into different tokens okay so prompt will be divided into tokens and for each token from this particular build a model so it will learn how to predict so in generating output it will predict what comes next what comes next so what comes next means if it is image okay what is the next pixel so because we know image is consists of a lot of pixels so if it is a text okay what is the next sentence what is the next sentence sentence or word which makes sensible okay and if, if it is a audio or code it gives what is a next note or instruction instruction so this happens in the generating output so it doesn't mean that this is a complete output so whatever the thing it has been generated the next phase is very important phase fine tuning fine tuning and feedback so we have said that this particular generative ai is a chat based interaction interaction chat based interaction so always when we are giving some input it will be fine tuned and it will be giving some suggestions right so we have seen in our uh, previous session right so similarly whatever the thing we got in the generating output phase that will be fine tuned so it will be using so reinforcement learning with human feedback so that will give some suggestions okay some ai model will fine tune the output based on user feedback user feedback so it will be asking or it will be giving some suggestions to the user in order to optimize or it in order to make the output sensible okay so in this fine tuning and feedback it first it will give some suggestions and the reinforcement learning with human feedback will be done and ai model will fine tune the output based on the user feedback which makes it sensible which makes output sensible 
okay because already so in the second phase build a model in the second phase it will learn or it will learn how to predict the next ones so based upon that it will fine tune this particular output and finally and finally the last one is a results so after fine tuning so it will produce so a new content new content is generated okay new content is generated so image if for example it is an image looks like an artistic and if it is a text okay looks like human written similarly code this also looks like human written so it will generate the complete information whether it may be image or a text or a code or audio so that will be realistic okay artistic and realistic and it will be looks like just a human written and see and all these process so uh, i will write the complete uh, steps once so the first step training on data second build a model third generating output fourth fine tune and feedback next results right so all these things will be working very fast so we think that okay we think that so the ai is thinking but actually what happens means here the two things happens one is pattern matching so whatever the thing it have learned pattern matching plus prediction see just remember it doesn't copy the content which is available in the memory it will not it doesn't generate the content which is available in the memory but it will use a pattern matching okay it will identify the patterns and it will predict the next one and it will display the output so all these things will be working in a very fast way so this happens in generative ai so pattern matching as well as a prediction right so this is how uh, the generative ai works so hope you understood this one and uh, if you enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much